Hi everyone, it's Dasha Dave here again. I'm back for another crafty video. So today I'm going to do another page in my diary, Yazoo. Um, another page of my diary. So anyway, um, I, I'm going to do another page in here, um, and I'm I, I've got some things out that I've kind of wanted to try. Now I don't know whether this is going to work. I'm just going to give it a go, and we'll see. So, Brian gave me these a few months ago now, and I haven't done anything with them, and I thought, right, okay, what I want to do is I want to turn them into, um, well, one of them at least, turn into, like, a, an old mirror, but I want it to look old. So, I'll ink this over so that it's not so white on the edges, etc. but also I want to make the mirror inside look old, so... And that was the thing that I was going to work around. So what I thought I would do is I would just kind of just piece out how big I want this mirror to be. And then I would go from there. So I've got some ideas. I don't know whether either of them will work, but we'll just give it a go. So that's what we're going to do today. So um, it's a little later on than uh my last video so it's again the same day it's still new year's eve for me you'll be seeing this in the new year though um and um i still missing my lovely friend um and companion my uh, who uh me and worcester by the way had been together for um i got him when he was two he was a rescue and he lived with me until everything happened. And um, obviously that's the reason why I'm a bit devastated by it all. So um, I will uh, try to move on. I'm trying to you know, learn to live without him around, but everything just feels Everything just feels wrong and silent. So, anyway, I, 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 you know, I know I appreciate like people saying that you know I'll, you know, I'll, I need to remember him with fondness and joy and that sort of thing. And I do, I do, I love, I loved him to bits. It was my world, but it's just still very raw at the minute. And so, we're just going to go through that. And I'm, you know, I'm determined to keep going with my YouTube because. I know YouTube is very unforgiving of not having, especially when you're in your early stages. So I know that if you've got, you know, a couple of thousand subscribers, things get a little bit easier. And then when you're on 20,000 subscribers, you can take your foot off the gas a little bit. Um, but if you're trying to build your channel, you just can't afford to, to let it go. And also, you know, I know that Worcester would have wanted me to do this because him and craft and my youtube and you guys were my world and you know that's why he used to come and say hello to you when he was on his way to go and lie on the bed and so anyway um it's still just going to be a bit raw and fresh at the minute so you just need to bear with me um but yeah so for this I had a bit of an idea to kind of make an old mirror and I didn't want to just do that I kind of wanted it to look a bit more you know I like I'm a, a, a big fan of you know distressing it and really making it look like it's you know replicating the whole look of something so I don't know how orange how much orange on this will come out because I don't really want the orange to come off it's just that I've got I'm running out of daubers. I've got a delivery of daubers coming, so. Um, but I just wanted to have a bit of a different colour on the. As it, as it kind of creeps in onto the frame and make it look a bit more. Um, well, I don't know, like vintage copper? I, I guess it. I don't know whether it's supposed to be gold or whatever, that, but it's a printed 
the printed's finished anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So I can it can be whatever I want it to be. So yes, there is a bit of orange coming off on this, but that's all right. It's fine. So we're just going to go over the whole thing just to kind of bring some extra colour out. Yeah, you can definitely tell where I've done and where I haven't done. I might be able to tell better on there. Yeah, you can see where I've done and not done. So it's obviously adding some colour. I was a bit concerned that it wasn't adding anything, but no, it is. Um, so yeah, um, I seeing Brian later. Vic has the Vic came over last night and he's gone to work now. So because it's New Year's Eve and it's a busy day for him, so because he's in the pub trade, so there'll be all the revelers having. Well, they were not really revelers because they're it's a posh place that he works in, so it's not you know, it's not going to be rough and ready oh yeah I like that that's cool I like that colour actually so I'll go for a bit darker again um, but not as dark as that one maybe yeah brushed corduroy it's got that same kind of orangey tone to it but not not too much and I kind of want to just give it that kind of 3D look so talking of 3D my 3D printer I'm gonna to have to start really thinking about where I'm gonna put that so I'm going to wasn't expecting to get anything like that I was really blown away by receiving that on Christmas Day I can't believe Vic you know <laughs> no wonder he was so excited he was very excited about like the presents he'd got me and no wonder he was he was, he was particularly excited about this and this is he said this is the one that he was the that he kind of said, oh, I've got you something I really want to talk to you about it, but I can't talk to you about it. And so, because um, I'm quite techy anyway, so I like technology. Um, so it's going to be a steep learning curve, though, to learn to print things. But I'll be able to be able to I'll be able to be able to I'll be able to make my own. Well, basically, the world's my oyster, isn't it? I'll be able to make my own whatever I want. Um, within reason, obviously. It's got a six inch print bed on it, so up to six inches. So, um, I want to kind of, I think I just want to round those, just follow that kind of pattern around there because I just think it's a little bit squared off at the edges. So, maybe just to follow that round as well. A little, not really the best scissors to fussy cut with, but we make do with what we've got, don't we? So, and my I do have other scissors, but I don't know quite where know quite know where they are. So I couldn't just land my hand on it at this moment in time. So. Just ink those edges where I've taken the the colour off that edge. Um, although I know that I wanted to put a mirror on this page, I don't quite know what. So some of the things that I was going to do have kind of um, changed because of the situation regarding Worcester, um, but. Um, I will come back to that and I will do do the things I didn't tell you about them anyway so you don't know what they were so I could do with something that is soft that has a bit of give oh look I've got some tissue next to me because I can't do anything these days without crying so it's a bit of so I can just add a bit of shape to that They're in the corners specifically because they're the bits I can't shape in any other way. And then just bend this round a little bit just. 
just to give it some kind of dimension, make it look a bit more 3D-esque. Time taken on this, I bet it won't even. You w bet you won't even be able to tell. So, but you know, I'll know. So, just makes it feel a little bit more three-dimensional, if you see what I mean. Just cut all that round because I like that that bit to be really going into the mirror. When that goes down, when that's going to go on the mirror, it goes on the mirror, it all should have a bit more shape to it, which it does. That's fine. Cool. Okay, so on the mirror, I want to make this look a bit pitted. So, um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I, I'm going to, because you know when you get pitting on a mirror, and you, it gives you like dark spots. Well, I was thinking if I could kind of just pick the. Scratched it, never mind. Scratching on a mirror is fine. Oh. Oh, now it looks like it's broken, but oh, never mind. We'll have a bit of a broken mirror. It's fine. Somebody's thrown something at that mirror in a rage. I wonder if I could just push something through it. I don't know what this is going to turn out like. Like I say, this is just. This is just practice. This is practice, not practice. This is just playing, and then if it doesn't work, you'll know not to do it. So, so I wanted to kind of yeah, that's the kind of thing where you get the you know, you, I want to see the, I want to see the white cardboard from underneath on it because I thought then if I ink over it, I'll get rid of the ink off it, you'll be able to tell. It's got like those dark spots on it then. Just wipe that off with some. Yeah, that's right. Let's just have a look and see whether we're going in the right direction. Yep, yeah, that's fine. I don't want to have such big pitting on it though. All over. the little bits it's the pitting that you get that's the thing that I wanted and then if I go for where the frame is going to be let's go and I want to see if I can just pull up the foil off that I don't know where your blade is though first day to be able to do that. Let's use this one. Don't know where my actual blade is. Oh, it's there. It's alright, I'll we'll use this one. This is the sharper one, so. Turned the whole thing round, but didn't do anything really with it. Just turn it round. Just trying to get this foil off the surface of here. Uh, hmm. I wanted to kind of rip it. I can't grab it because I don't have any fingernails. Because I stupidly cut them, and so I thought like that, and then go in with a bit of. Go over the, all of it with that color. Yeah, because you get like that splitting. Do you know what I mean? I can't. I can't get. If you've never seen an old mirror, it's gonna, you're going to be like, I have no idea what he's talking about. But if you've seen an old mirror and the the 
the mirror finish kind of comes off it um it's fine i'll rip that completely off and then you it kind of rusts underneath because it's made of it's an old mirror i don't know if they're made in the same way anymore but an old mirror was definitely made with actual metal It's got some kind of every time you take a layer off it's got some other layer underneath it so right I you won't see all of that anyway but like yeah that's all right it kind of gives me that old kind of finish to it cover that bit up i'll get rid of the um, smears on it Um, I wondered if maybe I could do maybe if I cover it in a something shiny. Let's give that a go. Cut that down to the right size. This is very dirty. This thing. Oh, it's not dirty. It's picked up because it's plastic. It's picked up all of the fibres that are loose on my desk. I don't know how to. Well, I can use an anti-static bag, but all that does is puts powder on it, so I don't really want to do that. thought I might be able to discolour some of this again. I need to have something to put that on. I'll use this. This might not work, especially because I'll never get that back again because that's just gone rolled under one of my desks, so I'll never see that again. So that's too big, way too big. These are not the size, this is not the size you're looking for. No, I, can't. I don't know whether that's going to work at all now. I wanted pitting on it, a bit of discoloration, not, not blobs. Oh, I don't know. It's all right. It looks, it looks all right. It's kind of a bit discoloured. It's kind of a bit discoloured in that bit where it's it's broken as well. Well, well, where it looks like it's broken. But just wish it wasn't quite so hairy. Not hairy, but fur. Not furry. Staticky. Covered in static and all bits off the desk. But never mind. and then kind of assemble it and see whether I like the the look of it. I think it needs to be a bit more yellowed. I'll go for some yellow then, maybe. Oh, Dave, the completely... Like, you know when you want it to just be tiny? I, I don't want to flick it. If I flick it, it'll just go everywhere well you know you've, never, you've not tried doing this before so so we can pick some of this up Well, that's the kind of splattering I wanted, the tiny splattering, but, you know, now we've got this big blob of yellow in it in the middle, which I didn't really want, so let's see if we can cover it up with some other flavour. If not, we'll start again. Now that I've developed a technique, don't worry, I'm not wearing anything precious. Certainly not wearing any of the new my nice new tops that I was bought for Christmas. So. I think I like the the splattering. 
yeah, the splattering. I don't like that big blob of yellow. Okay, so we'll start again. I've got an idea of what I want to do now. So I know what works and what doesn't work. This is the thing when you play. You've just got to go with whatever, whichever direction it takes you and learn from it. So maybe learn that you can't cut a straight line. Right, okay, so try that again, Dave. Shame I've lost that brown. Yep, it's a shame I've lost that. <laughs> Don't know where that's gone. It's gone under, under one of my desks, but in theory, I should be able to find it when I do sort the 3D printer out. This is far too fine a detail for anybody to be able to see, I'm sure. You're probably thinking, what on earth? why is it wasting all that time? But I'll be able to see it, and that's what, in some ways, that's what matters. And I never know when to stop. I was always told less is more, but. I've always gone for more is more. So that's the splattering. So hopefully you can see that. So it's splattering over it, which is that kind of pitting that a mirror gets. I'm hoping it will look it'll look like that anyway. Okay, I'm happy with that. So, I'm going to glue. Right, I'm going to try and glue the acetate to the board, but just around the very edge so you don't really see the glue. I don't want the glue to kind of push into frame. I don't know whether this is the right glue actually. Probably been better with three and one because it's bonding Pla two well basically two plastics together which is the plastic coating on that and the plastic of that so I'm taking the pin oh there you go taking the pin out I couldn't find it so yep that's so do I'll put a tiny bit of three and one on it as well Let's hope I'm not going to create some kind of chemical fumes from mixing. You should never mix chemicals together, so. Not the tiniest line just on the inside of there. The tiniest line on the inside of there that doesn't stay down. There we go. One on there, and that should stick it enough at least. No, we're going to go that way. Hopefully they've stuck together. Hopefully it'll make it look a bit more mirrory. Actually, there's loads of dust trapped in there as well, which kind of adds to it, I think, rather than take... I don't think it detracts from it. So, yeah, and then what I'll do is I'll use three and one along this edge. Will I use three and one? Yes, I'll use three and one along this edge. No, I won't, because it's not going to come out. It's going to be... Gloopy and horrible, are you? Oh, yeah, you are. <laughs> what is that? It's all kind of gloopy and horrible. Keep going. Hopefully that's got rid of the gloopy and horrible bit. 
Well, maybe. Meh. And I need it to be on that very edge. I don't know if you can see that because it's probably out of shot. I need it to be on that very edge because that's the edge that will make contact with the mirror element of it. So luckily I have craft in my life to help me through the trauma that losing Worcester has caused. And I'm grateful for you guys for to be here so that I'm not just talking to myself. So don't want to kind of just meet the the that join. I can't put anything on top of it because obviously that'll flatten it down, which will defeat defeat the object of it being three D. need it to kind of make enough contact to, to adhere a little and then it should dry like that far too much detail in that though for something nobody's really going to tell okay so let's do something with this so i'm not going to worry about those i might frame something else depending on what I've got. So maybe I could frame a flower. Should I frame a flower? You know what? Just might as well. That one's, that one's flatter. I might use that one actually. Oh. That's all of the these are those draw liners that I used last time. And that's all the bits out of them. <laughs> out of them. I thought I'd emptied them out, but clearly not not as well as I thought. So which one do I want? I think I'll use that one. Or that one. That one. Or that one. That one. This one I think frames it better. Yeah. So don't worry about that bit. Let's make do something with this. Let's ink it down around the edges. I could do with putting something inside that frame, inside the the shaping of that frame, so that when it goes on my art book, it doesn't get squashed. So I'll have a think about that. Yeah, inside the frame as well. Again, I might give this a little bit of dimension, I don't know. Make it feel like a frame. Um, where's my ball tongue? And take you around the corner there. Thicker than that. Give it some dimension. Might do all of the sides and see what they look like with the ball tool. The whole idea of a ball tool is you're just stretching the fibres. So wherever you roll it, you stretch the fibres out and it kind of... Well, that's the theory. It stretches the fibres out and makes it give it, gives it some dimension. That's what I used to use when I made all my... I used to make all of those um, flowers and things. I used to make a lot of paper flowers and th stuff. And I used to teach people to make paper flowers. And that's why I've got loads of ball tools because I used to have have them for my class. So done it or not you can also just curl it around something you could put something behind it like a pencil or whatever 
because what you don't want is like I've just done and just bent it and it now looks like it's got a fold in it so could do with something a bit narrower than that but never mind I don't have anything I don't think Parched. Just do with a nice cup of tea. If anybody's making one, if they're making one, mine's uh, milk with two sweeteners. And I know I, sh I should have given sweetened things up by now. And I'm, my mum thinks I should be drinking tea without sweetening but you know by now but I like it with sweet I like it sweetened personally I know it's upside down just bear with me a second while I kind of just gauge where I'm cutting it didn't cut it too short now. No, no, it's fine. So we're going to stick that in there. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'm going to put some of this. Now I'll use the this, the this. This is a combination of this has got pin flare book binding in it. It's got um, pen tart pen tart paper glue and um, what's the other one this art glitter glue in it so just use whatever I've got whenever I can whatever I can afford basically and this is kind of stopped up Let's put that on there. Do it like that, Dave, because you just your fingers stuck to it. There we go. And then what I thought was if I put some of this, which is the three and one, well, it's a mixture of three and one and Kalal. You see, I'm all for this mixing stuff. That's because my three and one is so thick. I put some of this down here. That should form a nice thick set that will stop it from going completely flat. Maintain maintain some of that shape I've just put into that card. So I'm not worried about sticking it down yet. That's not necessarily what I'm going to adhere it to the card with. Right, so let's do something with the background now. Let me lid back on my three in one. Or not, wherever it is there. That's another thing I made. I made that out of some of that heat set plastic. I could make a, I could make a lid now out of my 3D printer. Woohoo! Um, well, I will when I've got used to it, well, when I've got it out of the box and started using it, and then got used to it, maybe. So, let's go for some background paper. I'm just going to use what I've got to hand. I really love this. I, I, really, I love it so much. I don't, I've only got that sheet. I don't ever use it because I love it too much. Okay. So... Let's just make something out of what we've got in the in the thing. I'll show you those enamel things, by the way. These are my enamel. 
things that I made. So, second, so these have just made to look like, and I'm gonna I'm gonna do another video of this. I know other people have said, "Oh, why don't you make them?" and like, and I'll do another video making those. I did. I mean, I did make those a long time ago now, and I did do a video for it. But maybe this. I think maybe I'm going to use this is another draw liner actually so I think I'm going to put that on there maybe have these on it in some way yeah I think that's what I'm going to do I'm going to use this right okay so I'm just going to glue this down onto here uh, shall we get Byron the Zyron out okay folks so I found the Zyron just call the dogs off I found it so um I can't remember which way up this is. I think it's that way up. So if it's that way up, that's got to be face down. So I love this thing. I don't use it very often because I'm going to run out of the glue, the glue on it on it soon because I I love it so much. But I just don't want to. I don't want to be ever without it. Although I have seen in my feed on I think it was in Instagram the other day they were advertising it again but I just don't think they do it in the UK so because everything was in dollars so um, but I just it gives me hope that they might then start selling the the refills again in the UK so one of my favorite things ever bought so Brian and Vic are very good at buying me presents that I absolutely love so it's because they know me so let me go over it make sure it's stuck down and bonded a bit nicely oh, there you go perfect cool so I'm gonna put this on here I don't think it has an orientation way which way up I quite like this end actually so there we go there we go for this Flip it over, that's going to be that way up there, that's fine. The thing is, once you put it down, you've got to commit, Dave, so... You can tell this has been at Brian's, this piece of paper, because it's been coffee dyed for me, so. I d don't have the space. I live in a very tiny house. I do not have the space to coffee dye. I don't have a big garden. I don't, well, I don't, I don't have a garden, really. Um, I am a man of humble things. Oh, Dave, you've stuck that to the flaming... Oh, you knew that would happen, though, didn't you? So This is what you get for... This is why I can't be trusted with those... What are they called? Stickles, is it? The, the sticky three-dimensional things, because... I put them down and then plonk something on top of them. They're supposed to wait until they dry. But because you have to have a memory, and I don't really have a very good memory, so... Go. 
go. Just tear that bit off, keep that bit, put that bit back in there. Okay, so. Which way up? Oh, is, yeah, that's right. It's that way up. So, I'm going to get rid of that sticky mark up there. Hopefully it'll just rub off. So I'm taking the surface off. Yep, that's what I like about three and one, just rubs off. I want free range loose eggs. No. Um, don't know why I got it out because I just liked it, I think. Is this pa this paper or I don't know. Don't, I've just got things out and I don't know whether I'm going to actually use them, so I might just keep it simple. Maybe that should have been inked a little before I put it in the frame so it doesn't look quite so new. And now I've stuck that down to the desk. I'm aware, let's use this. Okay, so I'm thinking if we had it like, just maybe keep it simple, have it something like that. Or maybe have it actually kind of looking like it's, oh, well, let's, let's make it look like it's hanging, shall we? So we use a bit of string. Ravel it, that's what I mean. Not untangle it. It's not tangled, it's just raveled. And then maybe get a couple of pieces together. Like that. Might be a bit long, but we'll see. If we kind of put this on, glue this on the back of here, might even be able to just smash it into some of this wet glue anyway. Put a bit more glue over the top of that to keep it in place. Or not. Yeah, so for the next few days or so, it's going to be kind of sedate crafting um, things that I can just allow myself to heal with a bit. I don't know if that's all in the wrong place. No. There, thank you. Do I have any little brads? Oh, not not what I wanted to happen. Never mind. These are the little ones. So if I. Right, okay, where does it need to be before I do anything? Oh, that's, where are the holes? Let's put the holes in the paper, otherwise I don't know where I'm going to need this. So where's my hole punch thing? Oh, you know why? It's downstairs. I know where that is, so I'll use the cropper dial. So I was using it for making um, holes in tags on Christmas Eve for putting on presents. So. No, it's 
stuck in that. No, it's all stuck in that. Cool, now I'll know where I can put the hang this. Just wanted it out of the way of those. So if I do that, now I was thinking if I have it kind of hanging a little wonky. Like that. And then put this up here. Make a hole there. And then put this in. Let's take that off for a minute. I want it to be like a nail sticking out of the wall at a skew with angle. I need to make a bigger hole than that, Dave. That's fine, because it doesn't even go through. Okay. Have to put something on the back of it so that it doesn't catch on anything. But something on the back of there so that it doesn't catch. It doesn't have to be anything special. It could even just be a piece of black card, maybe. Also, it won't stop it pushing through as well. So, don't need that. Don't need that. What am I looking for? That. That's what I'm looking for. Like that. What is that under there? Oh, that's stuck to another brand. It's because I forgot this. It's just got glue on the back, hasn't it? Though. So, um, we'll put some more dimensional glue on it because I've squashed it now. Just to keep that form, that shape form. But also now this time we'll be able to use it to actually glue with. Put that on there. I can't remember which direction it was hanging in, in a wonk, but it's hanging this way now, so well, maybe a little bit too wonky, Dave. That's Do the same again with this one. Just use some blobs. Oh, get off me. Right. Try and keep the dimension with this. So I'm not going to press it down once I've stuck this on because I don't want it to lose the form. I'll just leave it. Dimensional. I want to have that kind of hanging though, like maybe like that. We're going to go for a shorter string then. I'm going to have to, aren't I? So. I've decided it's the top anyway, so put that in there, that blob in there, and then do this with a much shorter thing this time. Uh, 
kind of stay in there, please. I'll have this one kind of not hanging at a wonk. Pull that down a bit. Oh, I've got into a right mess. Hang on. Just bear with me while I get myself together. I'm not crafting with a brain at the minute, so. So, I'll just go for, let's make a hole here somewhere. Let's just um, leave that that way up for now. Ah, that's the problem with working with wet glue. Going there, whether I like it or not, man. So, is that, is that a hole? Yes, it is. We'll go sort of that sort of shape this time. Shape, di I mean, angle. You know what I'm talking about. Somebody please know what I'm talking about. That's the other bit of black card. Put this on here. Again, this is just to cover up the back. I think the nails themselves, well, the, the nails all help keep it dimensional anyway. So I'm going to pop that on there. Let's get that so that it's uh, kind of hanging in the middle. And that one's straight this time. on it in any way. Put that as a like a, a ball. Oh yeah, let's do that. Make, no, let's glue it down first and then I can cut it off afterwards, otherwise it'll all start to just unravel, won't it? So should that have gone on underneath? No, nope, we're gonna go underneath. That's fine. We're not. <laughs> so I'm going to hang that over the top of this. Put that nail back that way. Hang that over the top. Put this. Sorry. Put this on the top, and then hang that over the top of there. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Right. We'll do that. So I need to glue down here. I should measure where it goes to. there. Then we need to glue along this bottom bit. There's my three in one now. This is just a mess, isn't it? So it's just a bead of glue down there. And do blob 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 I don't think it goes all the way down to the end but we'll do that anyway. Blob 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 Be on the top, Dave. Let's bend that that way again. Pop that over. Without pulling it from the back.
Okay. So, yeah, sorry for not having spoken a lot in this video. Uh, it's really hard for me to think of things that I can talk about that won't upset me. So, um, but, you know, I'll get there. So just bear with me. So I think we're going to need to have some some kind of... Uh, it's all over that three and one is all over my fingers. Um, I could do with putting the thing back in there but who knows where that's gone probably glued it to something have I no it's not there oh I don't know I'll do it after afterwards do it off camera Dave um yeah so we'll have some kind of a statement in there Not a very nice, inspiring quote. That the world kisses some with pain. That's the bees, man. The old man on the seat. No, don't like any of them. Thanks. Um. this say a kind word is a like a spring day blossom by blossom the spring begins um, the spring the sorry the coming of spring I am calm again never yet was a springtime never yet was a springtime when the buds forgot to bloom okay not really kind of fitted to this. I don't know where these are from. Let's take our hearts for a walk in the woods and listen to the magic whispers of the old trees. Listen to silence. It has much to say. Sing still and the earth is singing. Maybe the world is but a canvas for our imagination. Oh gosh, I've made at least scissors sticky, haven't I? One thing I said I wouldn't do. Use that one. And then we'll put some... And these are the ones that I made, so tracery complex interlinked ornamentation. Maybe that. Jetsum isn't really appropriate. Cricklet, not really. No, let's go for the ones I've got out. Might overlay it on some of this book page stuff. These are from that, what's it called? AliExpress, not AliExpress. The, what's the other place that's now taken over from? But AliExpress is kicking themselves. Um, Timo. So these are just pieces of things. What's that one say? A wishful, no, a fitful ray. With fitful ray it lives in their dreams by night and by day and rules their hearts with a magical, with a magic sway. 
no idea what that's all about. Maybe have some of this on in the back. On this one. English chutney, well chutney English doesn't, it's not really appropriate is it, so. Okay, let's put, let's piece these bits together, I think these are stickers. They are. Let's get this out again, move that out of the way for a minute. I don't know what I'm doing, I'm just doing it because I like it, so. And that's sometimes all you need. You just want to do it because you like it. and then cut around it I think this is not a sticker that kind of jaggedness that it's got but without it being that length nearly done folks and then we'll be I'll gonna leave you be. So tracery complex interlinked ornaments. Ornamentation. Oh Brian's brought me a cup of tea. How wonderful is that? I did say a few minutes well before you even arrived I could do with a cup of tea. <laughs> no, I wasn't expecting you to make one, I was just <laughs> saying to these folks that I was gonna Yeah, make myself one. Right, cut that down. I think I'm just going to have that across there. Right, okay. So I'm just going to ink this a little bit. Just give it a bit of colour to it. And then ink around the edge. be another page in the diary done so with some more new stuff coming soon so don't forget there is a um there's a sale on in my uh, etsy store until um until the 8th of january it's i'm 
uh, got 60% off, so everything. So um, it, it's only digital, so it's, you can buy it wherever you are in your part of the world. Um, it's an instant digital download. You just need to be careful that you uh, try to download it from the same account that you purchase it from, because I know a few people have had a few problems where that for some reason they've managed to get more than one account created and then they've purchased something on one account and they can't find it on the next time they log in so okay so that's that so that's our make for today so I shall go and tidy up in a minute, so I've got to go and wash my hands as well because the three in one is all like I'm covered in it, so um but let's put it in the diary. Oh I need to make those holes again. You can make the holes again. <laughs> to do something about that. It keeps getting bent and curling round, so might be just warming up and then flattening it again. Okay, so where should we put it? Wherever we put it, Dave, you're gonna to have to leave the page open for now. Let's put it in the here. There we go, so it's just another little page added all started from all stemmed from that the, and the fact that I wanted to have it look like an old mirror so so there you go um uh there you go so yeah sorry I've just kind of zoned out a minute then <laughs> all right then folks thank you very much for spending some time with me thank you for being here and thank you for those people who have recently subscribed thanks for getting me on my journey to 2000, um, as, not as in the year, because obviously I know it's 2024 soon. Um, I mean, as in, as, well, it's 2024 for you guys now, it's not yet for me. Um, but thank you for getting me to almost 2000 subscribers. I'd love to reach 2000 soon. I'd be grateful for anybody that isn't subscribed to give it a bit of a, a, a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, I'm grateful to anybody to give me a thumbs up actually and thank you to everybody that's uh, sent their love and um, condolences to me. I really do appreciate you, I appreciate your friendship and that's the reason why I'm here. I do this because you are my therapy. So thank you for hanging around with me, thank you for hanging out, hope you liked the, the make and I will see you all very soon. Don't forget, I love you all without exception until you give me a reason not to. So don't give me a reason not to. And I will see you all soon. Take care, folks. Lots of love. Lots of hug. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. Bye.